Technology has many benefits for educational opportunities for students with learning disabilities. As found on page 313 in the text of Chapter 9, Integrating Educational Technology, teachers face challenges in knowing how to use and integrate technology for supporting instruction and for students' learning. This lack of preparation and time to explore these resources and capabilities can influence a teacher's attitude negatively in implementing the technology effectively in the classroom. For some educators, there's already the obstacle of time, meeting the needs of all learners, and ensuring that teaching of the standards by district guidelines. When having to train, integrate, and reevaluate technology for effectiveness, this can be discouraging and overwhelming for an educator. In a scholarly article titled, Perceptions of Using Assistive Technology for Students with Disabilities in the Classroom, by Arija Ahmed, there are several barriers found, including a lack of appropriate teacher preparation and support within district and community negative staff attitudes, insufficient assessment and planning processes, insufficient financial support and difficulty obtaining and managing the equipment, and the time constraints. There seems to be a view from individuals that they may look at assistive technology as a tool that leads students with disabilities to succeed, while others believe that this assistive technology makes them too dependent and cannot do things independently and task on their own. Also, the students have advantages to use these tools at school, but are limited outside of school on their resources. The teachers can provide the support, but the support at home may lack. If the technology was presented to the staff in a way to show the long-term benefits and efficient training was provided, this could positively evolve the attitudes in the school environment. My only experience with an accessibility tool was a talking word processor and a digital pen to assist a student in recording notes and keeping up with the pace of the curriculum in English language arts while teaching fifth grade. I had to work with the special education caseworker to collaborate in the students' notes and lessons. Most of the time, it was a lot of pre-planning work on my part to make sure I had the notes readily accessible for the student and to clarify any new vocabulary and content for understanding as needed. The student also had a speech impediment, so I had to work with the speech pathologist when he had to record certain notes into the pen. I also would create templates of graphic organizers to help in note organization. The student also mostly taught me how to work with the technology since they were used to working with it since the second grade. The student was placed in my class mid-year and I never felt I was provided that adequate training to understand how to use the tools effectively. If anything were to happen, I always had to call the special education <clears throat> teacher. He, the special education teacher really encouraged the student to use the technology independently, which I did support. However, I wish I knew a little bit more about it in case it did hiccup. The student also had a challenge <clears throat> of remembering to bring the technology with them. They had the advantage to have it at home and at school. However, they did not always have the responsibility to bring it with them. So I had to make sure the parents were always on the same page. This technology was beneficial for the student taking notes and staying organized with the content. However, there were times it could be really time consuming and a distraction for the other students. In this experience, I had to reevaluate my own attitude towards technology and embrace the advantages to how it supported the student to achieve in their own academics. Thank you for listening.